With the coldest weather of the season hitting our area very soon, local warming shelters are going to get a lot busier. News 8's Tyler Job is here to tell us how much work goes into making sure everyone has a place to stay. Mike and Martha, warming shelters are making the extra effort in getting warm clothing donations, and so far it's working. The Salvation Army of La Crosse told me it has gotten about 2,000 pairs of socks to help those struggling. And for the volunteers, they feel their hard work pays off. I love the conversations I have here. Tony Van Kirk has been volunteering at the Catholic Charities Warming Center for about a year. I make sure everything just smooth, you know, just flowing smoothly through the kitchen. Everyone gets a meal if they choose to eat. She helps in the kitchen for up to five days a week. Just engaging in the conversation in the kitchen, um, helping out in there. I think that's the best part, just hanging out with them in the kitchen, talking to them, getting to know each one and every one of them. And it's busy almost nonstop. We're at capacity of 40 a night. We were full the last couple of nights. But Catholic Charities isn't the only place in town helping out those struggling. There's really nothing separately that we do to ramp up for winter that we're not already doing other than keeping the cold weather supplies on hand. The Salvation Army of La Crosse always makes sure it has enough items. So leading up to winter, we always um, put out a cry for extra uh, blankets, hats, mittens, coats. Um, we even try to keep a supply of winter boots on hand. The community doesn't let them down. A huge pouring in from churches who knit. And so we get a ton of, of hand knitted scarves and hats, which is probably our, our favorite part of this time of year. All done to make sure those struggling can enjoy a safe environment. They're just happy they're here and they're warm and they have a meal and that's all some of them ask for. Van Kirk also told me that on days it gets extremely cold around here, the warming shelter is usually overflowed. She said the La Crosse Warming Center can allow up to 50 people per night. Thanks so much, Tyler. And as a reminder, shelters in our area are always accepting donations of food, clothing, toys, and even toiletries.